Oh God bless us. Okay, right. Okay. I can. I always presume everyone knows everything. So I'm. I'm Irish, you know, I'm not putting on the accent, right? So I'm from Donegal, whatever, long story short. Um, I make documentaries. I've been making documentaries with my husband, who used to work for the Financial Times. We were living in Romania. We came here. We've made a lot of documentaries attacking environmentalists. We made a film about fracking called Frack Nation, which is a very positive story about fracking, which, by the way, is the truth about fracking. And it's on Netflix called Frack Nation. Please watch it. Um, and it, here's, the, here's the weird thing, right? So, the, so I, I, don't, I wanted nothing to do with abortion. And it's in the preface in the book, my, sto my own story, about, of how I came to this. We came to this story by accident. Phelan was traveling around Pennsylvania, showing the fracking movie. And he had three days off, and he went to Philadelphia to kind of chill out, instead of coming back to Los Angeles, where we live. And this case was going on. And my husband is one of those, like, he's just, I don't know, if you know a journalist, you know those kind of journalist types? He, he will smell a story from miles away. So he heard about this local news story, and he went to the, to the, to the, um, to the trial. He was there for a week. And he said, that, he said he, the evidence was the worst thing he'd ever heard in his whole life. This is a guy who covered the war in Northern Ireland. He's no wuss. And what, what shocked him most was when he turned around and all the benches were empty. And by the way, I'm really sorry J.D. Mullane couldn't be here today. J.D. Mullane, by the way, just, just, to, just to, 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 before I forget to say it, the character we have, the girl, who's called Molly Mullaney, that's a composite. She's a creation. And we created her out of two names, Molly Hemingway and J.D. Mullane. So just so you know, that's J.D. Mullane there. He's the one who took the photograph. He's a rock star. I'm really sorry he's not here because I wanted to do a massive shout out. He could have gone to prison for what he did, by the way. That's contempt of court. You're not allowed to take photographs inside the, inside the court in Pennsylvania. So he's a rock star. And that photograph went right around the planet. Mm. So yeah, so my husband went in, saw that. He came back to Los Angeles. There's two other, it's me, <coughs> his wife, and Magdalena Segeda, our, our partner in the business. And he said, you know, this is what we're gonna do now. And I said, Magda and I both said the same thing. We want nothing to do with abortion, right? right. And I'm not, you know, I'm telling her that's exactly what happened. I didn't want nothing to do with abortion. It's too controversial. And by the way, I'm neutral in abortion anyway. Yeah, you know what that means. Neutral abortion means pro-abortion. So, uh, so Phelan said, look, you know what I'll do? Would you do me a favor? He said, would you allow me to buy the transcripts for three days of the trial? And he did. You have to buy them, by the way. They're not free. Which, by the way, it's bizarre. Um, and we bought them, and he said, just read them. And so we read the three days of the trial. Three of the days of the trial that we could afford to buy at the time. And uh, that was that. We had money for a different film, and we sent the money back. We became completely, completely convinced. So then we did a crowdfunding campaign. So some of you have heard what that is. You do a crowdfunding campaign, you just put your video up and you say, you know what, would you send me money? And we asked for $2 million. We asked for $2.1 million. And we had 45 days in which to get the $2.1 million. And we got the $2.1 million in 45 days. And the stories connected with that are legion. How many people here give us money? Love you. All the rest of you give $1. <laughs> Seriously, 29,000 people have given us money. It needs to be 500,000 people. Just give one dollar, and all you've got to do is go to gosnellmovie.com. The number is too small. 29,000 is too small, a number. Um, but people sent in money. I mean, the stories, I swear, I could, I could regale you with stories for the night. The kind of people, peop a, woman, a woman in Australia sends us $50 a month. You know, we have people all over the world. 17 countries sent the money in. Just amazing. We've met the most amazing people through that. That's how we made the film. That money is gone now. We then went to the movie, as you see, the movie's made, completely done. The only thing that's not done is the credits. And we, um, we got an agent in Hollywood, and he said, this, this is great. This, I'm going to totally get you distribution. Mm -hmm. So then he showed the film to every distributor in Hollywood, and every distributor in Hollywood have rejected us. So what happens then is, and not one of them, not one of them said the film was bad. Not one. In fact, they said, oh my god, this is terrible. This incredible story. Yeah, we can't, uh, we could make for us. Remember in your mind who these people are. You know, the head of Netflix's wife is one of the biggest bundlers for Planned Parenthood. So this is the kind of people we're dealing with. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not finished. So what you have to do then is, for an independent release, you have to raise your own money. It's called p and And most films raise about $10 million. We're raising $7.5 million because we've got a kind of a trick, we think. So you are, you, you are cheap advertising basically, right? By doing this in 100 venues, which is what I'm planning to do, I'm making of each of you a massive billboard, if you know what I mean, so that when the film comes here, you're going to become a massive bully, 
and say to everyone you know, do this for me. And you have to go the opening weekend. After that, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. You have to be there the opening weekend. It's all about the first night. It's all about the first two days. It's all about that. Forget about the following week. You've got to go the first days. If you don't, it'll never get well. If we, we, the release won't go forward. So we have financing for the first part of this, the riskiest finance, $1.5 million. Someone has just turned up with $2.5 million. They haven't signed yet, but we're looking, we hope that they will. And it's a very good person, and I can't tell you who it is, and I would love to tell you, because until the sign, sign dot line, whatever. Um, their money will not be deployed, and this film won't go beyond the 100 screens if the first 100 screens aren't ridiculously successful. Do you get that? And the more successful it is, then it will go to, it, we have a deal where it will go to Netflix. They'll be forced to take it. So, and Netflix is 15 million homes. So that's, it's incredibly important. So, so, we, so that's our kind of trick. So seven and a half million dollars. So basically we have one and a half and we think two and a half. Uh, the rest of the money would be financed by receivables.